to be in the Lord's house. Amen. Good to see Coben back. He's feeling a little bit better. He can't have his looks, but he's here. Amen. I'm just kidding. Missed him when he was gone. Uh, Sunday school's great today. Appreciate God's goodness. The ladies come out smiling and happy. Just keep it that way. Amen. I want to promise you one thing. When you start advancing the kingdom of the Lord, the kingdom of Satan is going to fight it tooth and nail. So everything ain't going to be perfect. It ain't always going to be smooth. But God said, I am God and I change not. Amen. After the service is over today, I need three or four men to hang around a minute and help us move some stuff real quick. It won't take five minutes. If you'll hang around and help us do that, we'd appreciate that. Bulletins are out there in the foyer. We've got a sweetheart banquet coming up uh, for couples. And uh, so we'll enjoy that. We're going to play some games, have some good food, and that's going to be fun. Don't bring your kids. I ain't being mean. Let somebody take care of it. That's your night. Y'all, y'all with me on this? That's your night. Bring yourself and your spouse and come in here and enjoy the time together. Amen? Now, if you've got a sweetheart, as long as it's a woman, if you're a man, don't, 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 bring a man, don't bring a man if you're a man. I'll embarrass you. I promise you that. Amen? Anyway, we're going to have a good time. And the Lord, Lord's blessed us. God's been good to us. We had a great year in 23. And I can't wait to see what God's going to do this year. Amen. And somebody says, well, things are looking pretty bad right now. Says who? Says who? Last time I checked, last time I read, he's still on the throne. And there ain't one thing that you're facing right now that he can't fix unless you limit him. Amen. And you can't limit him. You can't limit him. I'll say more about that a little bit later, all right? Come on, Brother Danny. Let's get up. Let's get the choir rolling. See, if you see somebody that you're mad at, go ahead and get right with them. Praise God. Tell them hello, good morning, look them in the eye.
Brother Rodney, you and Brother Dwayne come. Y'all, y'all are always handy right there, so that'll be good. There's plates down there. Okay. Amen. Brother Dwayne, you pray over the offering. God will bless you for giving, I'll promise you that. You'll never, ever, 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 ever outgive the Lord. Never. Brother Dwayne, pray for us. Stay in the fellowship a little bit. Tell everybody good morning. Let's do it again. No, we've done it once. Let's do it again. You didn't act happy when you done it earlier. So let's 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 laugh when we do it. Praise God. Amen. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. be seated. Good to be in the Lord's house again. Thank God for his blessings. Glad I'm saved on my way to heaven. At the end of the service today, uh, I'll have a couple more announcements to make, so don't run off, hang around a minute. And then don't forget, some of you men can help us just a few minutes. Got some totes and things to move around, carry upstairs, and we would appreciate that. Amen. Anybody got a song on your heart today? Anybody got a song in your heart? Well, I got one that does, praise God. I got one in mind, amen. That's kind of a play on words. All right, come on, Mr. Mary Men, you'll sing that one. Your cries have awoken the master. Thank God, thank God. I'm glad the cries have awoken the master. may not be in a storm right now but there's three things about a storm you're either coming out of one 
you're in one or you're getting ready to go into one. It never changes. I said, when will it change when we get to heaven? There'll be no more sea. Every storm starts at sea. No more sea in heaven. Storms are gone. What a day that's going to be. You pray for us. We haven't sung this a long time. So you pray that God will touch it. That's all I want. I want him to touch it. Crossing the calm sea with Jesus, the disciples were getting concerned. The wind started violently blowing, and he was asleep in the stern. Does he not care that we perish? You see, we're helpless. We're so afraid. But Jesus arose when they called him. And he said to them, where is your faith? Cause you pray all night. Cause you held on with all your might. Child. Hit me without any warning. The storm of my life had begun. I was seeing no hope in the distance. I was frightened, had nowhere to run. And now my vessel is filling. I'm thinking, man, I'm going to drown. You ever feel that way? But I cried out for help to the Savior. He said, son, you can't give up now because you prayed all night because you held on with all your might. Child, If, any, if it's not hit you, it will. And it'll be without warning. And it's going to be tough. I've been there. This, the reason I'm singing this song, the way I'm singing it, lived it. Yep. Lived it. And I'm telling you right now, God's got any issue going on in your life took care of before you ask him. But we have not because... We ask not. Yep. So if you got a need, I don't care what it is. So it's, yeah, but my need's very small. It doesn't matter. If it matters to you, it matters to him. Yes, it Amen. Listen to this verse. It hit me without any warning. And the storm of my life had begun. I was seen no hope in the distance I was frightened had nowhere to run now my vessel is filling and I'm thinking man I'm gonna drown so I cried out for help to the Savior listen to what he said he said son you can't give up now cause you prayed all night cause you held on with all your might child your cries have awoken master I 
love this part. Well, he knows your voice. Lift your hand, it's time to rejoice. Child who rise, have woke up. Masters to the coast. Cause you prayed all night, cause you held on with all your might, child who cries, have awoken the master. I want you to bow your heads. Why don't you play a little bit of that? While your heads are bowed. I see Satan over and over and over again try to destroy people. And I said this often, the same people that God uses to build a church is the same people that Satan are used to destroy it. Same people. Not no new people. Same people. You know how he does it? It destroys them. He breaks them. He breaks them. Can I just ask you something right now? Would it not be better for you to get on this altar and give it to God than to handle it yourself? You can't handle it. I'm going to tell you what you better do. You're going to do something real dumb. You're going to do something real dumb if you don't let God handle it. You ought to get this altar today. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, like, you got to let God do it. You have to. Maybe you know somebody that's in trouble. Maybe you know somebody that's in a mess and you want to come pray for them. You know what you ought to do? You might be the key between them and God helping them. You might be the very one. And you might just want to come and say, Lord, I'm coming on behalf of my spouse or behalf of my friend or behalf of my mom. Amen. When life gets you down And you feel more broken than whole When the wounds go deeper than words And you can't tell a soul Better listen to the Lord Make that high man move. But if it matters, one to thing I found that I really want you to know. If it matters to you. If it matters to you. Pray, Brother Chris. He wants to share those burdens you bear. Whisper peace when your world gets shattered. If it's your greatest joy, or your deepest pain, or you're really needing an answer. If it matters to you, 
friend do you think that the maker and giver of life is far too busy to care about your trouble and strife he sees a sparrow that falls to the ground and he hears the tears that don't make a sound if you only knew how precious you are Go before they sing it more. It's your greatest joy, your deepest pain, or you're really needing an answer. If it matters to you, it doesn't only matter to you. I want, uh, I want every couple, if your spouse is here today, or Coven, you and you're dating, if your spouse is here, I want you and your husband or you and your significant other. I want, I want us all together around Chris and I. I've not said much, but I will say this. This is a relationship that's hanging in the balance. Satan, he don't care who you are. He don't care if your top dog sounds listening. He don't care. He has come to kill and to steal and to destroy. That's his job. If you know the value of prayer, now these couples have gathered around, but if you know the value of prayer, I want you to come and gather around with us. We're going to ask God to put his hand on this situation. Now, Satan's already done it. But greater is he that's in you than he's in the world. If you've ever went into the throne room for anybody, do it today. Amen. Father, I want to thank you that the blood is still there. I want to thank you, Lord, that the blood still cleanses all sin no matter what. I want to thank you, Lord, that this couple chose the right route. So many of them, Lord, they'll never bring it to you. But they did today. I know it ain't going to fix it right away. But, Lord, it'll be the greatest start they've ever had. And I will say this, Lord. You said you'd never leave us nor forsake us. You said you'd never let us down. You said it don't matter what we're going through to bring it to you. And here they are. And here is our church. We sure do love this couple. Now, I don't want to see the devil destroy any couple.
but a couple, Lord, that has got some things to offer you. They're working in the ministry for you. And so when you start doing that, you put a big old bullseye on your chest. And Satan says, if I can bring you down, I'll bring you down. And certainly in the Word of God, he sure did. Lord, there's greater men than me that he took down. There's greater ladies than my wife that he took down. And all he wants to do is take this couple down and walk away and say, I did it one more time. Lord, can I ask you to do what you did for the Apostle Paul? Apostle Paul was on his way to see the churches, and he said, Satan withstood him. Now, remember that night, Lord, he was in that storm over there in Acts 27, one of the worst storms he'd ever been in in his life. He got to calling on you, and that night, the Bible said, he said this, there stood by me this night the angel of the Lord, whose I am, and whom I serve. And the word of God said, don't jump ship. <laughs> Paul said, you can't, don't you jump ship, don't you quit. Don't you jump ship, stay in the ship. And he said, if you'll stay in the ship, all lives will be spared. Lord, they did, they had a head count, I believe it was 128, and all of them made it. Lord, here we are, we're the crew. We're gathered around some more crew members. Lord, we've been in this ship for a while together. They've been selling it since day one. I pray the crew today. Lord, I pray the crew today will strengthen these. Lord, there's some things that we need to do when that storm hits. We need to strengthen that crew. We need to let them know, man, you're not in this by yourself. You don't have to handle it by yourself. Tell Satan to go to hell. Tell him to leave you alone. Draw nigh to God, and God will draw nigh to you. God, can we just strengthen the crew today? Safeguard the cargo. They were throwing that stuff overboard like crazy. And they time to start quitting and throwing stuff overboard. Then we can salute the captain. Lord, you're the captain of this ship. It ain't me. It's not me. It's not the trustees. It's not any man. It's you. I want you to be the captain. Lord, as long as you're the captain, as long as you're at the stern, as long as you're on the boat, as long as we remember Every storm bows at your feet. Every issue, we won't want to limit you. Lord, I want to thank you for what you're going to do. I'm going to thank you right now for what you're going to do. I'm going to thank you right now publicly for what you're going to do. Is it going to be easy? No. But we got a God who's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. You have your way in the storm. We'll praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all hang around fellowship with them when they get done. I don't care if they stay there all day. Tell you something I've learned. Tell you something I've learned. Don't start trying to figure out what they're going through. Ain't none of your business. And don't come and ask me and don't text me. Because I'll say the same thing I'm saying to you right now. It ain't none of your business. They're going through what a lot of people go through. It's called life. Son, it hits you sometimes harder than other times. Y'all sing. Y'all stand at all, brother Chris, as long as you need to. It's all right. Stay that all. Hey, that 
ain't nothing but the devil. Looking down through the ages, God beheld a dying soul. Sin had brought separation, never more could make. I know his service has about been sung to death, but Cindy, would you please come sing that song, Welcome Home? Back years ago, we'd get to church. My mamma, I never got to see her do it, but they say they'd go there and Sunday morning they'd start praying and shouting and they wouldn't get out four or five o'clock in the afternoon. They'd go back at seven, get in church and people would be in the altar, getting right with God, getting right with each other, marriages being worked out, God doing things. 
And they'd stay there at 11, 12 o'clock at night. My dad said, as a boy, I've watched them stand around while others were in the altar for hours. And you know what we done in our churches? Well, if they could go down there in three minutes and get a hold of God, then they just, well, we just, well, man, we got stuff to do. You're a fool to think that way. There's some, there's some things that takes a little bit longer. Amen. And I want to be a part of a church that if I need to stay in that altar, Brother Dwayne, two hours. If y'all not like it, get in your car. This driveway circles, find you a route out. I want, I'm telling you, I'm interested in God doing something in people's lives, no matter what it takes. Amen. And I'm not quitting on them. I am not quitting on them. I am not quitting on them. Kind of amazes me that when you throw in the towel, God throws it back, says, hey, wipe your face and your tears and get with it. Amen. We ain't no hurry.
don't know of a better place to try to get things right than at church. Amen. Among people that love you. My desire for having this sweetheart banquet is exactly what it is. See, I'm a pastor. I know the attack. Now, you think Satan likes that? That we're going to have couples to come and I'm going to preach to couples? You think Satan likes that? And there's going to be a lot of people that don't like it. But if God will use it to strengthen them, Amen. I'm I'm for anything that helps the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Ain't God good? Yes, amen. The uh, service will go out today. It'll be on YouTube. There's going to be a lot of people think we're the biggest morons. I'm just being honest with you. I mean, what are you getting out of that? Why, are you, why is that church gathering around them? Why are they around them praying like that? Why are they taking all that time? Because God can do more than we can do. But if people don't feel comfortable, this is where we're missing it. If people don't feel comfortable staying on that altar, praying as long as they need to, what have we done to our churches? It's pathetic, isn't it? Amen. Well, it's been a good day. But Chris, you can back up there. You, you good to go? We love you. We love you. Now.